Tropical Storm Debbie is bringing destruction to the southeast with strong winds, rainfall, and flooding, as you can see here. The storm made landfall as a Category 1 hurricane yesterday morning in Florida's Big Bend region before dropping to tropical storm levels. And what's so dangerous, it's a very slow-moving storm, and, you know, the rain continues to pour down. Sherelle Hubbard has more details. South Carolina, Georgia, North Carolina, and parts of Florida are all under a state of emergency. Tropical Storm Debbie could drop historic amounts of rain on parts of Georgia and South Carolina in the coming days. We are at basically zero sea level. We're going to have some real issues here. Forecasts call for the possibility of 10 to 15 inches of rain in a two to three day period near the Atlantic coastal city of Savannah, Georgia. They're calling it a 500 to 1,000 year storm. To make matters worse, more than 1.5 million people in coastal Georgia and South Carolina under a tornado watch until early Tuesday morning. Morphing from the category one hurricane it once was when it made landfall in Florida overnight Sunday. Seeing a bit of a repeat of uh, Hurricane Adelia. Florida in rescue mode after being slammed. At least 500 people rescued from flooded homes in Sarasota, Florida. One of the most unlikely developments, cocaine that officials valued at $1 million, washed ashore a beach in the Florida Keys. In the Tampa Bay area, flooding with high water rescues have been underway. Also near Tampa, a fatality after a 64-year-old man lost control driving on a wet roadway. His semi plunged into the Tampa Bypass Canal. That is the number one way where we will see fatalities is by people being out on the roads. Residents are being warned to stay inside and avoid flood waters. I'm Sherelle Hubbard reporting. So we keep talking about Eileen, who's in the Outer Banks. You said, I hope they brought the board games. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so hard when you, you plan a trip, right? Anytime. In hurricane anyone. season. And yeah, I mean, you just you just don't know. I mean, I'm I'm heading south uh, next week. So Are hoping, you? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> well, I mean, there's a little wave down in the Southern Caribbean, which mm -hmm. is supposed to go due west. And I'm going to be obviously watching that extra carefully. Timing For is everyone everything. and myself personally. But yeah. I mean, yeah, there's yeah. time. But it's hurricane season. So here's the deal. Hot today. Hot and me today and then some big time rains and I want to show you this graphic here because this kind of shows the the expanse of just this rain that will be coming down over the next couple of days. This is a seven day outlook so encompassing today all the way up into the weekend and when you see these yellow shades Savannah Charleston Wilmington that's 10 plus inches of rain folks now our metro area we're kind of in that maroonish shade so that's three, four inches max potential around here. But I think the good news is that it's over several days, so it gives us some time so it's less of a flooding concern, if you will. There's the center of circulation this morning. Those winds at 45 gusting to 60 miles per hour. You can see the expanse. I mean, the outer bands are even coming into southern North Carolina, but here's the problem. This storm here is slowly moving. So between today tonight and even into Wednesday, it barely moves much through the Carolinas, so it just kind of sits over the same area for an extended period of time, eventually working its way northward and crossing down to our south and east, which is good because that keeps the strongest weather down to the south and east, but definitely could bring us some appreciable